The protocols remain the same as uh, government uh, set out, that you actually sanitize your hands and all the surfaces that are uh, continually being touched or frequently being touched. We also maintain social distancing whenever we are in congregation and we ensure that if we are boarding matatus, the matatu actually carries uh, um, three quarters of his capacity and that um, we generally follow instructions as given by government. And of course we have the curfew and we have the enforcement of those protocols. We want people in the coast region to understand that uh, government is not doing this for the sake of itself. It's doing this for the safety and well-being of all Kenyans. And therefore anybody traveling into Mombasa or into the coastal region should know that those protocols are being observed and if you flout them, the law will catch up with you. And we want to be very serious about it. We do not want uh, the coast region to get back to where it was last year this time. We want to be, we re want to remain at the lowest end of that trajectory. Uh, that's why we are insisting on the use of the floating bridge for all those traveling to the south coast during peak hours pedestrians especially, so that, you know, we don't have the crowding at the ferries. And also to want to ensure that in all social places, those protocols are observed. And I particularly wish to appeal to our political leaders to be wary of um, the temptation to hold political gatherings, to hold meetings, whether they are CDF or what meetings. Government banned all social gatherings, except where protocols agree, or where there's an exception, like church functions where the number is known, funerals where the number is given, you know, but any other meeting that somebody calls for any other purpose, not allowed at this time. So let's respect that protocol and we will not um, regret it in the end. For the donation they have made to the coast region, to the tune of about 4,000 cartons of sanitizer to help in the fight against the third wave of COVID-19. We are very grateful for this support. And we want to thank uh, Kibo Sugar uh, especially because they have come a long way and they have demonstrated that they are true nationalists and they have the interest of all Kenyans at heart. And we have distributed this um, sanitizer to all our six counties um, at the rate of about 500 per county and then we've also given to all our agencies including the Coast Guard, the police and so on. We want to ensure that everybody uh, keeps sanitized wherever they visit government offices or interact with government agencies and we're also asking our county commissioners to also give uh, same support to distribute some of that uh, sanitizer to mosques and other places of worship. We know the COVID, the third wave is there and all we want to ask everybody, keep safe, stay sanitized and we need to help each other in this time of need. That's why we are here all the way from Kisumu, Kibos, to bring the sanitizer here. As we speak, uh, right from the start of last year until now, we have donated over 600,000 litres of sanitizer, And we've done it all over the country. Now Mombasa is for our first time. Uh, not first time, we've been doing it also with Mombasa Cement here. Uh, they've been doing it on our behalf. They've been collecting from us. And uh, we have now done it ourselves here with the regional office. And all I will say, may God help us, God be with us, for us to overcome this uh, pandemic. Thank you. Yeah, what would you? Yeah,